If you've never had fondue before, you're definitely missing out. This easy classic cheese fondue recipe can be whipped up in about 20 minutes and it doesn't require any fancy equipment. But if you've got an old fondue pot in the attic, I'd definitely drag it out. Welcome back to my kitchen. Or if you're new here, my name is Stephanie and this is Ginger Snap Kitchen. The first thing I did was take a clove of garlic, cut it in half, and then rub the cut side of the garlic on the interior of my large Dutch oven. Then I added one cup of dry white wine and brought it to a simmer over medium high heat. While I waited for the wine to simmer, I grated a whole lot of Swiss cheese. This is 12 ounces of Emmentaler cheese and 12 ounces of Gruyere. Once it was grated, I transferred it to a bowl and added one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. Then I tossed it together until the cornstarch was evenly distributed throughout the cheese. Next, I added the cheese to the simmering wine a handful at a time, stirring it and making sure it was melted before adding more. This video is part of a collab hosted by my friend Anna over at Cooking the Books. Do yourself a favor and check out her channel. She's a lot of fun. You can also see more videos from this collab by using the hashtag, Let's Fondue This. At this point, I added about half a teaspoon of kosher salt and some freshly ground black pepper. Here's what I'm listening to while I work today. What are you listening to? The last couple things I added were a little freshly grated nutmeg, and once the cheese was melted, I reduced the heat to medium and added two tablespoons of Kirschwasser, which is a cherry liqueur. This ingredient is optional, but it is part of the classic recipe. After that, it's ready to serve. You could keep it warm on the stovetop, place it in a slow cooker, or transfer it to the cutest fondue pot that you can find. Here's mine. I served it with chunks of crusty bread that I made the day before, tiny little boiled potatoes, Granny Smith apple chunks, and red apple chunks. These were perfect. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you're already subscribed, thank you. And I hope you'll check out the hashtag Let's Fondue This to see more fondue recipes from other fine creators. Thanks so much for watching.